Holistic management at its core is really just basically a decision-making framework. It allows humans to make decisions that are balanced between environment, social and financial. And I always say to folks coming to training, you know, some of them will drive nine hours, especially over in WO, we spend so much time driving the car. They'll spend hours and hours driving. Every square inch of ground that they've driven past in their nine hours is the result of human decision-making. There's virtually no ground left on the planet today that isn't actually managed. And that environment reflects that management. Holistic management helps us to change the way we think uh, about land management, about how ecosystems works, um, about changing the way we interact with our environment. What surprises me is that there are so many things that have like so much so much so much that we know like science has known for a long time and that we have failed to apply in our day-to-day -day management of of our environment our organizations our society and there are so many things that are quite obvious when you when we think about it but we just fail too often to see it and to apply it and that's what that's what holistic management is about it's about common sense it's a lot of common sense uh, there's huge amounts of country that's not doing well and it's not because farmers leap out of bed and say hey i'm off to go and destroy my environment it's the way we make those decisions and as humans we're very linear so it's, we focus on making a profit, we focus on this, or we focus on getting 10 tons a hectare or whatever it is. Uh, but we live in a holistic world. We, we have to acknowledge that we are our environment. And if we destroy our environment, we destroy ourselves. So somehow or other we've got to change our decision making. Because no one really wakes up in the morning and says, I'm you know, going to destroy my family or my community or my property. We, we all just do it. <laughs>